Hello everyone and welcome back to the Brugly channel. Today I have a really cool video where I'm actually going over two custom backrooms entities that I myself created. I wrote some lore, some details, some physical descriptions, I created the designs for the entities, and I really think you're going to enjoy how they turned out. I'm pretty proud of them, so let me know your thoughts below, and I also want to make this into a series where I go over all the custom levels and entities that I make. So just let me know if you want that, because I sure want to do it. Without further ado, let's get right into the video, shall we? The first backrooms entity that I'm going to talk about today is called the Animarums, and the word Animarum is actually Latin for souls. These entities were recently discovered wandering deep inside the wilderness of levels 47 and 14. They physically have white, smooth skin and black eyes, lips, and hair. Although, an interesting note is that their hair and eyes don't have biological features like a human's. Instead, they look like they're a liquid that's constantly waving and moving when they move. Kind of like this guy from the Pirates of the Caribbean, if you've ever seen that movie. They'll just be walking on the ground and their hair will be moving up like they're underwater, but they're not. Their bodies are white as well, but they have black streaks flowing down them that end at their feet. And this liquid that makes up their eyes, hair, mouth, and body is thought to be liquid silence because they don't make any noises when they walk. In fact, that's a pretty creepy part of this entity. They don't make any sounds. Heights and weights of this creature vary widely, but most of them are actually surprisingly small. Even though only a handful have been seen, the estimate is that they're two to four feet tall. Males are typically thicker and have the black liquid as facial hair and minor body hair on the arms, and the women are typically thinner and have thicker black hair on their heads. The motivations of the Animarums are completely unknown as of right now, and only a handful have even been seen deep into the woods. There's been no houses found, no villages found, no camps or anything like that, so no one knows where they stay at, although some people think they live in the trees or on tree branches. They typically just stare directly at you from far away and will continue to stare at you without breaking eye contact or blinking until they get bored or leave the level. No one has been attacked so far by one of these, but you never know. They have been seen wielding tools that are made out of the same black liquid that covers their bodies, but the only tool that's even been seen is a staff type of thing that they used to walk around with. The way these creatures move around the woods is probably the most unnerving part about them, minus the fact that they have voidless eyes and mouths and are made up of liquid silence, because they can seemingly swim through the air when they're not on the ground. If they want to be up in a tree, they'll just start kicking their legs like they're swimming upwards and they'll just float directly up. Or if they want to come down from a tree branch, they'll swim like they're going downwards in a pool. And they'll just swim straight down to the ground and then start walking normally once they hit it. It's obviously unknown how they do this or what purpose it has, but it's pretty creepy to say the least. They kind of move in the air like that girl from Hereditary. The images that I've been showing you are artistical recreations of five different sightings of the Animarums. As I said, they're passive right now, but they also just got discovered. So they might not even know if they want to be aggressive. The second and the last entity that I've created for today's video are called Lockjaws. These are semi-humanoid, semi-quadruped creatures that live in levels with bodies of water. They don't live in the water all the time, but they seem to need it often. Lockjaws are comically skinny and elongated, with long spindly legs and arms that end in slightly webbed fingers and toes. Most of these sighted ones are over 10 feet tall on two legs and around 6 feet tall on the shoulders when they're on all fours. The lockjaw entities are very, very dangerous because of their ability to move quickly to catch victims. They've been seen hiding in the water of levels waiting to jump out to the banks of the water and drag people underneath it to their demise. They cannot close their mouths further than the images you're seeing, which is where the nickname Lockjaws came from. However, they can open their mouth very widely in order to bite on their prey. 
their teeth don't seem to be made out of bones because they're relatively flat, which carnivores don't typically have flat teeth. Instead, it's thought that each tooth is a sharp, square piece of metal, something like a razor blade, that's been jammed down into their gums. On top of all that scary stuff, a lockjaw's resting face is this creepy constant smile or surprised look, and it never changes. Even if they're underwater, or above water, or eating someone, the face never changes. <laughs> the mouth is the only thing that opens and goes back to being slightly closed. Now, lockjaws don't hunt in packs or anything, and they're extremely rare to come across. In fact, they only recently got discovered when someone was fishing on level 28, and it jumped out of the water and drug them under. It is thought that the noses on lockjaws act as sort of gills to breathe underwater and above water, so it's unknown how that mechanic works. But either way, I wouldn't want this to be the last face I saw while I'm being dragged to the bottom of the ocean and eaten. But yeah, that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed these creatures. I had a fun time coming up with the lore for them and using AI to create the images and faces. If you want me to do more, I would be glad to because I really think they're interesting and I can make like an entire Brugly creature catalog if you all want that. Thank you for everything. Make sure to go check out Toogly for some Backrooms reactions and some gaming videos. I'm having a ton of fun with the content over there. I'm trying to get to 50k by the end of the year, so go help a brother out if you want to. Also check out Spoogly for your weekly cryptid and alien fix. Make sure to check out the description box below if you want to get any links to my second channel, third channel, Twitter, Discord, all that kind of stuff is down there if you are interested. And make sure you drop a comment in the comment section and uh, tell me how your day is going. Tell me what's up. Tell me what life's going like. I know school's about to start back for a lot of you, so... I apologize for that, but no worries, Brugly will always be uploading three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I guess you can look forward to that, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, thank you for the support, I don't deserve it, but you, you guys are just amazing, and I really appreciate it, thank you so much. Like I said, we are aiming for 500k here on the Brugly channel, because at 500k, I will be buying the full Backrooms outfit, the shirt, the pants, the hat, the socks, everything like that. I'm going to wear it in public for a video. I'm going to make videos in it. I'm going to do a photo shoot. It's going to be awesome. If you want to see me in that and see all that happen, make sure you sub, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog, cat, chicken, rabbit, tell everybody you know to drop a sub to the Brugly channel. And my goal is to hit that by January 1st, 2023, which would be absolutely insane. And actually the one year anniversary of the Brugly channel is coming up in about 13 days. So that's, uh, that's crazy. One year of Brugly guys and many years to come. I hope you're ready for everything. Thank you for watching and supporting me and I will see you later.